for more insight on the lives of refugees and immigrants in the United States, I'm joined in studio by Eskinder Negash, President and CEO of the U.S. Committee for Refugees and Immigrants. Eskinder, welcome to Africa 54. Thank you for having me. Let's start by you telling us what your organization is doing to help refugees and immigrants right here in the United States. My organization, the U.S. Committee for Refugees and Immigrants, was founded in 19... Uh, 10. Uh, we have been providing services to refugees and immigrants uh, for many, many years. In fact, since 1980, we have resettled close to 350,000 refugees across the U.S. We do have partner agencies around the country, which is almost 40 locations, and we provide uh, legal services, refugee resettlement, housing assistance, uh, medical services, education, and ultimately we find them employment. You see, a lot of people don't understand uh, the crisis the refugees face. Some, you know, they face stigma and all kinds of things, including immigrants as well. Uh, what are some of the stories you've heard from the people that you help that are touching and bring a human face to what the, the kind of crisis they face? You know, I think they, all refugees have a story to tell. Some of them are survivors of torture, some of them survived civil war. Uh, so I can tell you, especially the Burundian refugees I used to interact, you know, they spent 27 years in refugee camps. They said, why is it genocide? And they came to this country and, and, and start a new life. And uh, by all accounts, they have succeeded and they are doing a great job and becoming an American citizen and contributing to the, this country. The World Refugee Day uh, was created not long ago in 2016 by the United Nations. And uh, what I noticed is that there was a specific requirement for governments to treat refugees fairly. Why was there a specific requirement for government? What's going on with Well, I think refugees are, you know, when they become refugees, they go to another country. Some countries are welcoming refugees. Some are not. Uh, so, you know, the idea is every refugee deserves a right for, for a, a, to make a living, to be protected. So I think the, the UN, and, and at that time, I believe, you know, President Obama pushed this idea that every country should really contribute to the refugee uh, challenges. I think there is a certain assumption that refugees are a burden to society. I don't believe that. You know, if refugees were a burden to any society, this country will be the poorest country in the world because, after all, this is a refugee and immigrant country. Then how do you plan to celebrate Monday? I think uh, celebration is a, a little bit, uh, maybe not the right word. Uh, I think what we're planning to do is we're inviting uh, refugees to tell their stories. So we, we have a virtual gathering on Tuesday since uh, Monday is a holiday. So they will be telling their story. And their story is like any other story, whether you came in last year, this year, or 50 years ago. The story of uh, hope uh, and dignity is what they will be sharing.